Hi there, my name is Corey, but you already knew that by now. And, and guess what I like to do besides sleep and watch TV? I like to draw, draw cartoons. And today I would like to show you how to play a game. It's an art game, of course. And when I teach my art fun shops, I got loads and tons and a plethora, there you go, look, look that word up, of different games to play. Here's one, it's very simple. All you need is a piece of paper, go figure in art class, paper. And since we're around the holiday season, I wrote down a whole bunch of different things and items and objects that you would see with uh, Christmas time, holiday time, and then I cut them in a little bits and pieces like that, and then you can take a hat and put them all in here, okay, and what you do is you shake them up. This is for some folks who you ever say, Mom, Dad, what, 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 should, what can I draw? I don't know what to draw. Well, that one just fell out. A toy, toy drum. All right, so I'm going to draw a toy drum, and I'm just going to use some basic numbers, letters, and shapes uh, today to come up with um, some a toy drum. Let's do, oh, hey, let's get a pencil that works. That'll be the first thing to do. There we go. Okay, how about a W? I love the W. Okay, here we go. That's a great, I never figured out why it's not called double V, but it's W, okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a toy drum. Right, there we go. And then I'm gonna draw a big, there we go. And sometimes they have little circles right there, and maybe even a little top like that. And we can even put a stand on it if we want to we'll draw a straight line down, draw another line, draw another line. Look at that. Maybe even a boom. There's a drum. Now to draw a drumstick. Circle. Oh, the sound effects always help. There's a drum. I actually put a lot more than I wanted to on that one. And you go back in here. It's fun to do this with friends. Mittens. See, these are the little things in pictures. that are, It's not the main things, but a lot of times when I'm teaching art, uh, you ever hear the term paint yourself in a corner? That means you get stuck. You, you, you get stumped. You're drawing stuff, and then it's like these little tiny things. I don't know how to draw. So this is a neat little game. Oh, here we go. We can do, we can do a mitten from a upside-down U. There's, there's the first one, okay? Hey, look at that, the Red Sea. And then we're going to do a little U. And look at that, we're almost done. There's a mitten. You want to put a little sleeve on it there? And then we can draw another one. Another mitten. You can turn that into a cooking glove, you know? Or you can color it in like this, make it a little bit bigger, and all of a sudden it's a boxing glove. Here back here. I like to use Crayola, but I come back, I, I color first, then I come back and do the outline. There you go. Then you, there's the boxer. All right, let's keep playing. And this could go on and on and on. Have, have friends and family help you. Here's a tree. I'm going to pull out a few of these just to show you. Candy canes. Of course, you could do a letter J with that. Uh, presents. Wait, let's do presents. Let's do presents. Okay. All right. Do a uh, let's see, do a rectangle, okay, and then underneath it we'll put a square, there we go, and uh, we can come back and put some ribbon on it, okay, tie there, tie there, okay. and then you can come up here and do a, uh, a bow, I think I actually have a bow in here someplace. Holly and Ivy, bells and bows, <laughs> look how it's spelled too. Okay, um, to do a bow, you could put it on top of this, but I'm gonna do it down here. I like to do bows by drawing a heart. But check this out, okay, so let's, let's draw a heart. So here's a heart, the starting of a heart. Oop, there's the ending. Now I'm gonna draw another heart, upside down. Oop, now I'm gonna put it on its side. Your bow's almost done. Put a little circle in the middle. You can go back and color your bow in if you want to. And then come down here and put the ribbon like so. 
But do you see how I started with uh, a basic shape? Then you can go, of course, you want to bring that out, you do it in, in, in black. Oh, Santa hat and stockings. Stockings. Let's draw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this over here for a second. Let's do, let's do a different color. Let's get some orange out here. Stockings. You can do a letter J with a stocking too. Here's the J. Sort of a J. Maybe I just fooled you. I just faked you out here. Come up here. You gotta know how to draw stockings and mittens, boy. I'm telling you. There we go. And you can go back and fill that in. And sometimes, if you ever see pictures of stockings, there's this little thing right here. And sometimes there's one up front. It could be a, it could be a patch, or it could be the design of the sock. Then you can take another J, go up here and hook the J this way and make a candy cane. So anyways, that's the idea, to, to draw some basic shapes and see if you can make stuff out of these uh, different words. Look here, here we go. Holly and Ivy. Here's watch how much fun this one is to do. Start like that. Then once you learn how to do this, you will make borders on every holiday thing you want to do. And go back and. Put a couple of the berries on, and there you have it. I thank you for joining me again. I'll keep some of these right here so you can see them. And maybe you could try them on your own. And do it go there, there, and there, and sign my name. Corey G. Thank you for joining me. Mahalo.